Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. It is Friday. So I just wanted to do something really quick. So my last video, I was sounding like super happy, super energetic and stuff, but I'm actually really not. And you know, I've been really like kind of stressed out lately. Kind of, I wouldn't say depressed, but just kind of like down. Like I've had so much stuff happen to me and you know, this recovery I've had, is really a slow one like I'm not you know healing fast so it's been stressful and stuff like that but I don't know I'm just trying to be as positive as I can and just keep going and stuff like that because I know that we all have our crosses to bear stuff like that but really the main reason I wanted to go on here is because um, one of my favorite singers in the whole entire universe is Ariana Grande I love the woman. I think she's amazing. I think she's empowerful. I think, she, I don't know if that's a word, but you know, she has empowerment. She's definitely, you know, girl empowerment and stuff like that. Um, being a woman and be able to do things that, you know, everybody else can do as well. Like we're, you know, we're, we're no better than anybody, but we can still do what everybody else can. But I, I watched her video uh, on Thank You Next and I'm really kind of, torn between it contemplating if I really like it and I don't know I mean to me I mean I don't know and I don't know if somebody can help me explain it and stuff like that but I felt it was irrelevant because she is talking about like thank you next like the next person in her life and stuff like that and you know saying that you know this is not who I'm with or whatever blah 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 but it was really kind of based on mean girls and um legally blonde so I'm a little confused about this and if someone can kind of explain it to me like I said maybe I'll get a better you know thought about it because I love I love the song oh my gosh thank you next thank you next I love it cannot get enough of it but the music video I just felt to me personally was irrelevant I didn't find really a story to it but or an understanding about the video of saying like thank you next to you know the next person next boyfriend next figure whoever in her life you know I don't care uh, who she wants to date who she wants to get engaged to you know I support the girl all the way love her to pieces I want wish nothing but happiness health um, everything for her but I was just so confused about the video and I'm not saying this in a bad way or anything but and I'm just wondering if someone like can help me understand it more because I am very confused <laughs> and I've watched it twice and I still see the same thing and I'm not sure if I'm not getting the plot right or what but I just see just like reenactment of um Legally Blonde and Mean Girls and I love those movies obviously love those movies to pieces but I still don't get the music video I don't really understand what the concept and like construction is behind it so I don't know if anybody else kind of had that feeling of like, well, it didn't really make me think of like, thank you next, like going to the next person. So I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand what the perspective is. Maybe I'm not seeing it correctly. I don't know. And obviously there's probably a million views of it already. But if someone can kind of explain it to me, maybe I'll get a better understanding because I love the song and the music video was cute. I just felt it was irrelevant. It just didn't make sense to me. But possibly maybe I am confused. I don't know. But um, yeah, so she's obviously one of my favorite singers ever in the whole entire world. Um, and, you know, I she said that she's going to maybe make another album this year, too. So I'm stoked about that. Another artist I'm really looking forward to is Avril Lavigne. So I'm obsessed with Head Above Water. I think it's great. I think it's empowering. I, oh, my gosh. I just I honestly cry every single time. Um, when she says I'm too young to fall asleep, oh my goodness, like, because I kind of understand that, like, I've had scares in my life that could possibly even put me to sleep forever, and, you know, it's, it's scary, it really is, and what you're fighting and stuff like that, like, um, I have endometriosis stage two, I've had 30 kidney stones, I've had Bell's palsy, I've had back problems, obviously everybody knows I've had four hip surgeries and all that kind of stuff, so I definitely relate, um, so that song was absolutely perfect. The music video was phenomenal. It fit the story. I mean, I could definitely 
hear and see and feel every single emotion through that. Also, if people don't get the ending of the Avril Lavigne Head Above Water, the reason why she did not come up from the water, because there's no cure. There's no cure for Lyme disease. So, because me and my dad watched it for the first time, and he's like, that's weird. I wonder why she didn't come out from the water after. I said, well, because there's no cure, dad. There's no cure for Lyme disease. So, She's still stuck underwater trying to breathe and get through it. He's like, oh, I get it. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So stuff like that really makes sense to me. And I really want to understand Ariana Grande's because obviously um, I love No Tears Left to Cry. God is a Woman is like my anthem. Uh and, I mean, I love all her albums. I have them all. I love Santa Tell Me. I'm really excited and stoked on that right now because of the holidays and Christmas coming up. So, I don't know. I really want to get more of it and understand it so I don't feel stupid. But otherwise, you know, I that's really one of my big hobbies in life is to listen to music. It helps me. It calms me. It relaxes me. And, I don't know. It's just very therapeutic to me. And uh, I listen to an album every single night and one album I'm actually very 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 obsessed with right now is Taylor Swift 1989 I have not actually listened to the whole album before and um obviously I have it and I've heard like my favorite songs but then it's really weird because I was like oh my gosh maybe I should give this a chance and listen to the whole entire thing and I did and that was probably about two months ago or something like that oh my gosh no wonder why it's like her best-selling album it's awesome so you know, I love that album. Another one I've been very, very obsessed with is Demi. Like Demi Lovato's Demi album, like from 2013. Absolutely love her. She is like freaking awesome. So inspirational. I, oh gosh, if I ever met that woman, I mean, she, oh my gosh, Demi Lovato is just, I, she's irreplaceable. She's been through my life since 2008 and I've always loved her, respected her. Um, been a fan of her, acknowledged her, and, you know, I've tweeted things on Twitter and stuff like that. Of course, I'm probably, she's never going to react to me or even acknowledge that I'm here, which is fine. And same with, like, my Selena Gomez, who I absolutely love and pray and wish that everything's okay with her and that she gets through everything because I know that it's it's hard. It is hard. I think being famous would be a really hard thing. And just everything that she's gone through, too. You know, life is one heck of one big roller coaster. I mean, Life is a test. It really is. That's all it is. You just test to make sure that you're going to be okay. If you're going to get through it, if you do the right thing, use integrity. If somebody's not there, still do the right thing kind of thing, you know, and stuff. And I don't know. I just, that's the way I find life to be. So I don't know. Anyways, really, I don't know why I'm trailing off with all these, but th those are my main artists that I love. Avril Lavigne, Selena Gomez, Demi Lovato, Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande. Those are my main five girls that I love. I have all their albums, all their songs. I know them all to heart. They are such a big part of my life. They've inspired me. They've helped me. They've basically been therapists, like spiritual therapists for me, who says is a huge song by Selena Gomez that actually, in a way, saved my life. And, you know, just who you are, you should just be happy with. And, you know, there's a lot of insecurities. There's a lot of things in life that you're not happy with. I'm not happy with a lot of things about me. I broke down the other day and I was thinking to myself that I am completely worthless. There's nothing about me that's worth it. I don't feel special. I'm not pretty. I'm ugly. I have everything wrong with me. And I am kind of in that state right now still. Just because I'm going through so much, I don't get out much and it's hard. This is my fourth hip surgery out of 13, oh, excuse me, 12 surgeries that I've had in, you know, 13 procedures all. And it's hard. I mean, it takes a toll after a while. You get sad. You get a little bit, even though you have like a million people with you, you still feel alone. And I don't know if people have had that before, but it's true. So I really, another thing I was going to say is I'm done with Facebook. I know I've said this for a while, but I am taking a very strong hiatus right now from Facebook, not from Instagram, not from Twitter or YouTube because I feel like that I really enjoy and like a lot more. It's less drama. Um, and I really feel that going on Facebook and seeing everybody excited for the holidays and stuff like that, I get jealous because I can't do much and stuff like that. I'm not walking still. I'm on crutches. And I don't know. I just feel lonely. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.